What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a file downloader in Visual Basic.net. This is what it should look like. You should have two text boxes, two buttons, a progress bar, and two labels. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Um, actually, not okay. Okay. So, first code you want to put in is this code here: import system.net. It's just like you, what you should have. The cmd.save. That's just why I named the button. Is it should be um, DLG save, which is a save file dialog dot show dialog. And this one should be deal no wait, text box two dot text equals um DLG save which again is a safe file dialog dot file name. Next what you want to do is you want to type in public with events at no wait, download as Web client. Next, what you want to put in is you want to say message box dot show and put the little quotations and parentheses. Say download completed. Then you want to say progress bar one dot value equals zero text box one dot text equals zero no wait just this text box one text box two dot text is the same thing okay next step is to go click the progress bar and put in progress Want bar one dot value equals e dot progress percentage. Okay, and as for the download button, you have to put in this code. Um, it's going to be down. No, no download equals new web client. And put this code in, and then it's going to be um, progress bar one dot value equals zero, and then progress bar dot maximum equals 100. So, once you're done with that, all you really have to do is, um, well, for one, fix this. Because that's an error. Pro e dot. Oh, that's why. Okay. So you want to keep this here, but you want to come up here and you want to say progress changed. Wait. Download progress changed. Okay. So if it's not listed there, then you want to change this underscore to down. Oh, wrong one. You want to go down the end and say progress bar dot one equals progress. Wait, progress changed. There we go. No wait, wrong one. Progress. Wait, oh yeah, that's what it was. You need to change the beginning to progress bar changed, and then change the end to this part here, right? Versus systems dot net dot. And then you say progress changed, right, and then keep it progress changed, but don't delete the even args. Go all the way at the end and change it to progress changed here too. Download progress changed, whatever. Okay, so here we go. Ready? I'm gonna run this program. I'll show you my version of it in a second after I show you this. This is just for the tutorial. What's gonna look like? I'll include my version too if you want in the description. 
but whatever. So if I go to my Dropbox, let's see. Dropbox. And you just find, oh, I forgot to do one thing, sorry. Let's see. Okay, it's not running, but that's good. So I forgot to tell you one thing. On the open file dialog, you want to change this to um. Oh yeah, you don't even need the open file dialog. What am I think? Nope. Actually, you do need it. Forgot. Download. I should say open file. Yeah, you don't need the open file dialog, like I said earlier. I don't know why it's not letting me delete though. But anyways, go to the save file dialog, and then go to the filter option and put your whatever you want to save it as, like this. So let's say I'm um, compress files. Then put this. Um, star. Dot R A R star Oh, I typed wrong. Wait a second, I'm trying to remember how to type it. Should be make quotations. No, it's not quotations. I might need an ending one. Anyways, you you can look up online. Um, it should be something like this. Like in my other tutorial, I have the code for for the filter part. But it should be something like this, like compress files dot rar. But yeah, I'll probably include an annotation saying what it is. But if you want to see my demo, I'll show you right now. It's the same thing, same code, and here we go. I can come over to my debug. But I named it Internet File Downloader. So run that. Mine's a little bit more fancier though, so. Now what you need to do is you need to go over here to uh, the Dropbox. And then copy out to public one of these files. I'm pretty sure I changed it so I can download RERs. Let me just see. Yeah, okay, good. Now, um, we'll go to uh, file, let's say BB, BB programs, text to speech. These are my older programs. I don't have any of the new ones on here. Click pu co be public link. It needs to be a link from the internet for this downloader. So I'm going to put that, click save as, name it, um, name it tts.rar. I'll put it in um, documents. Save. I think I put it there already, but it says, Do you want to replace it? Because I saved it there to try it earlier. Click yes. And click download. I have a colored progress bar, so watch this. Nope. Oh, allow. Stupid virus protection. Okay, there it pops up saying download completed, and I have a red progress bar. And if we go to my documents, and we say T T T, what is it? There it is, TTS, the one we just saved. So thank you for watching this little tutorial on how to make a file downloader. I'll include this little demo in the description, and have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.